According to the 2018 African Tech Startups Funding Report by Disrupt Africa, Nigeria emerged as a premier investment destination on the continent with 58 startups raising a total of $94,912,000. Now, it's no doubt the Nigerian startup ecosystem is gaining traction and the recent listing of Jumia on the New York Stock Exchange is expected to add value to the continuous growth of the industry hence the need to invest more in our developers. To keep this up, the Deji Ali ARM Young Talent Awards has given young Nigerians an opportunity to compete for a 12 million Naira award that will be invested in completing a detailed business plan, tuition for further education and acceleration program in an incubation. All that's needed is to present plans that will help make life easier for people. We believe that an organization should not exist for profit alone you have to be able to put back into the community. And we decided some years back that the way we were going to do this is to touch the young lives. And so for us, this is an opportunity to do that through um, investing in a venture and in the hope that that venture will be successful and will go on to create employment, you know, not only from, for their own business, but the people that also work with them will go ahead you know, in the long term to create their own businesses. And so for us, I, I, I'm hoping that um, we, we have no idea the extent to which what have, we've done this evening, how far it will go and how many lives it will touch. But I hope that it will touch as many lives as possible. We Sabi, Meco Medics, Jojolo, Check It and Prest are the solutions that make it to the final stage. For one thing, I have found is that when people see value in something, they are ready to throw their money behind it. What we we ran our pilot really at a very very affordable rate, at a very at literally a very cheap rate, so that people can see the value in it. We created videos and all of that so that we can convince PTAs, we can convince school owners to buy into this. One by one, their founders make their way to the stage for one last pitch. Mr. B, building Africa's marketplace for backgrounds checked personnel in the blue color sector. We are an online platform that helps businesses and individuals find reliable and well-fitted workmen like plumbers, electricians, capitals alike in your neighborhood. Their solutions attempt to address lagging areas in the educational system, child health care system, energy saving systems and other areas of the society. Martella Sony emerges the winner with his business proposition, Wisabi, and receives the award to fund and grow his business. I'm very excited about this. Um, this has been quite some process, um, but well, it's, it has come to an end now and, um, and I'm really grateful to the organizers, to ARM, to the judges, and to everyone at the event. The data program, which was inaugurated by ARM in honor of its founding CEO, Mr. Deji Ali, in 2015, is part of the company's efforts to educate and empower the younger generation to make meaningful socioeconomic impact in their immediate environment and the nation at large. From preventing accidents at work to improving your golf swing, advances in wearable technologies were on display at the Wearable Technology Show in London. Consumer appetite for wearable technology is on the rise. According to Forbes, by 2020, it is predicted that sales of global smart wearable devices will double, reaching more than $27 billion, with sales reaching 233 million units. At the Wearable Technology Show, Guided Knowledge unveiled their technology aimed at improving professional golfers' performance. It consists of an 18-centimeter base garment worn under a golfer's clothing which monitors the swing motion as they play. The data collected is then paired with an app which generates a 3D avatar of the player and their performance. You might be asking yourself, why does anybody need to know that much information about their swing? But when you're operating at the professional or the elite athlete, levels, even the most marginal gains could have the biggest benefit 
it can make the difference between winning and losing a tournament. Elsewhere, Life Booster, another piece of wearable tech, is designed to be worn by workers and gather data to help companies pinpoint situations where they are at high risk of issues such as back pain. We've developed an injury prevention platform called Sense, which uh, integrates with wearable technologies and allows large industrial organizations to identify the risk factors in the workplace so that we can hopefully prevent those injuries from occurring. Portable watch brand Oxyton is designed to replace finger type oximetry detectors commonly used in hospitals to measure the oxygen level of the blood. The technology is set to be the world's first FDA, US Food and Drug Administration cleared close proximity monitor. So it's a very comfortable device, very easy to wear, connected to, to the physician's portal, to, connected to the cloud, and patient and physician today able to watch their data and patient data and physician can watch what happened with the patient in real time 24 7. Catapult is a wearable solution designed to monitor athlete performance by capturing data for sports scientists to analyze with the aim of making sure they perform to their full potential. Catapult make um, wearable solutions for um, to enhance the performance of teams and athletes um, football, rugby, uh, American football basketball, rugby league, rugby union, the, the main kind of team field-based sports that we work in. More and more entrepreneurs are plunging into this emerging market, bringing more ideas and possibilities to the industry. This is the sixth year the show has been running, which brings together 300 exhibitors and 200 lecture speakers. Israeli researchers say they have printed the world's first 3D heart with blood vessels, describing it as a major breakthrough in engineering replacement for diseased organs. At this stage, scientists printed pink and blue 3D rabbit-sized hearts, but a professor of Tel Aviv University who led the research for the study said that larger human hearts require the same technology. The Israeli team's findings were published in Advanced Science, a peer-reviewed open access journal. Devar, in a statement, said scientists had 3D printed the structure of the heart in the past. So this is the first time that the whole heart with the blood vessels and cells is uh, printed. He said that given the dire shortage of heart donors, the need to develop new approaches to regenerate a diseased heart was urgent. It takes about three hours to 3D print a heart, but De Vera says the hearts themselves require further development as the cells need to form a pumping ability. The hearts can currently contract, but still needs to learn how to behave like hearts, De Vera said, adding that he hopes to succeed and prove his methods of efficacy and usefulness. The researchers took a biopsy of fatty tissue from patients using their cells and biological materials as so-called bio-inks, all substances made of sugars and proteins. Immune compatibility cardiac patches with blood vessels were printed and then an entire heart, DeVay said, adding that the use of native patient-specific materials was crucial to engineering tissues and organs successfully. For the first time, we printed uh, uh, materials and cells from the human uh, itself and created such a complex geometry of the heart. In the first, all the hearts that uh, were printed on, until now and as far as we know, are uh, made from uh, more uh, synthetic materials or uh, other materials that, won't, that don't originate from the uh, patient itself. Maybe in 10 years there will be organ printers in the finest hospitals around the world and these procedures will be conducted routinely, Devere said in a press release published by Tel Aviv University. The paper also notes that while 3D printing is considered a promising approach for engineering whole organs, several challenges still remain. <music>